With so many conservation projects underway in the town of Plymouth, it's easy to lose track. The Goldenrod Foundation kicked off a series of town hall style informative lectures to keep the public informed on the status of the multitude of projects that are being worked on. Making Waves in Coastal Conservation, which is an annual speaker series we run. This is the third year. And today is the kickoff with David Gould, the Director of Marine and Environmental Affairs for Plymouth. And I'm really excited about this presentation. Where he'll talk about the great projects being done in Plymouth, his strategy behind them, and um, where we're going next. The big one for me that I've, I've noticed the most is the restoration of Town Brook, because it's so involved and it's so exciting. I moved here from Virginia, and when I saw those herring coming up the stream, it blew me away, it was fantastic. And the fact that now they'll be able to get to their historic spawning grounds in Billington Sea, to me, is extremely exciting. We've been working on Town Brook restoration for um, close to 15 years now. And so if we didn't have public support either from uh, committees, the, the residents in town, board of selectmen, town meeting, if we didn't have that support, this project would have ended a long time ago. So it really is all about support. Um, one of the great things for me is I go to a lot of different communities and, and people always say to me, oh, you guys are lucky, you guys are lucky because you have a, a town meeting that supports the projects, the land acquisitions, and we are, we're very fortunate. And so what makes us fortunate is we have a lot of people that are interested and supportive of environmental issues. Without that, none of these projects, none of these initiatives would ever get completed. We have uh, wetland uh, restoration projects going on. We also have aquaculture and shellfish activities. Um, we also have our, um, our new shark uh, data uh, that we've been collecting from our acoustic buoys. Um, and we also hopefully will be able to get T-Wharf underway, which is obviously a coastal project as well, and that should be starting construction sometime this spring. We have uh, six total presentations for this series, so two weeks from now we'll have the next person who's coming from Connecticut to talk about a very interesting project involving urban youth. And the final one, the sixth one, will be student presentations, high school and college. Uh, kids will talk for 10 minutes each and give us a wide variety of projects they're working on, perspectives, research that they've read about that's really interesting, and I know that Plymouth will give them a good uh, turnout. Um, one of the great things I hope we get across today is just how much planning, uh, permitting, uh, hard work goes into getting to that point in time. And then when you actually see the physical construction, um, how much thought has gone into every single detail of what you're actually seeing out there. Uh, there's a lot of work behind the scenes for years going, leading up to these projects that um, people typically aren't that familiar with.